going on all of you wonderfully amazing people if you enjoyed these work at home slash side hustle videos please give this video a big old fat thumbs up and don't forget to go over and sign up to the email newsletter so that you are updated whenever any of these new hot job leads become available. You guys, I'm so excited about this one. I'm probably not going to be before you guys long, but I have to do a little bit of in-depth explanation in regards to this side host. You guys, I'm so excited. I found out about this opportunity um, about a little over a week ago, almost two weeks ago. And I told, told a couple of people that I am close with about the opportunity because most things I like to try out for myself before I tell you guys, or I like to do a little bit of in-depth research before I, um, I tell you guys about it. You know, sometimes I'm human, so sometimes something might slip through my fingers, but this one in particular, I'm really, really excited about. So I'm so excited that I actually signed up for it myself, okay? So what this is, is mystery shopping. This is not mystery shopping online. This is actual physically going into um, businesses and mystery shopping. So um, I have someone who I'm associated with who actually made about, I think she said a little over $75, just a little bit over $75. I'll, I'll say 80. I'll round it up to 80 because I think it was like 77 or 78 or something like that dollars. So she made just say $80 and a little bit under three hours um, yesterday. Family, she did all of this stuff in a little under three hours and you know she was basically going to be out and about anyway so i'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do okay um so what you'll do is when you come over to this website and i have a blog post writing a, a whole write-up about everything that you, need, you guys need to do in order to get in on this okay but this company called maritz they actually um are actively looking for people to do on-site mystery shopping and some of these mystery shops pay very, very well, okay? Most of the mystery shops that my friend girl did are gas station artists. And I think she said she did one bank, I think. I think she said she opened up a checking account or something like that. But I'm going to show you some of the ones that are available to me. And it really all depends on your area. Even where my mom lives, and my mom lives in a very, very small town, there was like 19 that were available, okay? So when I go to visit her, I'm gonna do some of those mystery shops just to make some extra money, okay? The best way to do this is to plan your mystery shops. All you have to do is look at the locations and you can plan five or 10 of these things. I think you can do, I think you can do up to 10. Plan five or 10 of these things that are within the same area, maybe within five or 10 miles of each other and do those and make you some extra money, especially if, you are going to be out and about anyway, um, but you will definitely need to have a vehicle to do these mystery shops. So if you don't have a car, they will not approve you. Okay, this company is 100% legit. They 100% pay you. Trust me on this one, you guys. Do some research on this company and you will hear a lot of great things. Okay, but I'm going to show you guys some of the mystery shops that are available to me that you can do. Okay, and of course, again, this depends on your area. So if you live in a larger area than me, I'm in Alabama. So if you live in a larger area than me, you're going to have way more that are available. As you saw, let me go back. Um, once you get, set up your account and once you're approved and everything, you're going to have a login. And when you log in, it's going to look like this. Okay, it's going to look something like this. Now you can go in, this is what, what is available to me now. I have 103 that are near me, but you go here to your account and you can go here to where it says update my preferences and you can put in a different zip code, like a zip code that's maybe, maybe 15, 20 minutes away from you or something. And it'll probably give you a little bit more options. So definitely play around with the zip codes that are near you. Okay. So I'm going to click on the 103 that are near me. And personally, I would only go out about really about 20 miles, but I'm just going to put 50 for the purposes of this video. Um, you can look at it as uh, here as the map view, or you can look at list view. I think it's better to do the list view in my personal opinion. Um, okay. I'm going to show you guys what some of these mystery shops are. Now you can set up to be paid via check. Just so you know, checks will take a little bit longer to come to you naturally because they're being mailed to you. Or you can sign up for a direct deposit. 
Now with direct deposit, I think they pay, it'll be twice a month that you get paid. I think they pay, I don't know if it's, like if you do mystery shop, I think you get paid maybe a week or two after the mystery shops are complete, okay? Um, just so you are aware. Now, some of these I'm really not interested in, but you may be interested in, and you can go through and filter these results. But just for the purposes of this video, so I can show you guys, I want you to see everything that is available, okay? All right. So with this one, this first one here, as you can see, they have a lot of these AT&T mystery shops that are available. But I'm not in the market for signing up for Direct TV or purchasing a new cell phone or anything. But if you're in the market for a new cell phone or you're looking to get Direct TV service, you can definitely take advantage of this because they do reimburse you. Um, but you get paid $75 for this particular mystery shop. Now, what you'll have to do if you currently have Direct TV, if you're interested in adding a new service or maybe upgrading your service, you can take advantage of this as well. But it pays $75. But um, according to my friend, she did more so a lot of these gas station audits, which is like this one right here. Like this is a Shell gas station audit and they're actually paying $12.50. And they give you an entire write-up of what you'll have to do. Now with this, this one in particular, you will have to reveal yourself as a mystery shopper, okay? Now, I think they, um, it tells you here everything that they pay you for. Again, they pay you $12.50 flat, and they also will reimburse you up to, uh, up to $10 if you decide to purchase some gas. Um, you'll be required to take photos. I think it's, uh, it says up to 14 overall photos that you'll be required to take, and it gives you a full breakdown of everything that you need to do. And here's another one that is not far from this one, which is what I was saying um, in regards to picking a couple of these audits that are within five to 10 miles of each other and do them all at the same time. That way you can make, you know, $50, $60. I mean, you can do, I think you can do up to 10 of these per day, okay? And some of them only take 10 to 15 minutes to do. And again, you can do up to 10 of these per day. Um, so the Chevron one here is paying $15 and this again is a revealed mystery shop. So you will have to reveal yourself as a mystery shopper. Um, and all you'll be required to do with this one is it looks like all you will be required to do with this one is take some photos and evaluate the overall branding of the site. Okay. So that's pretty much all you'll do for that one. And that pays 15 bucks, but you'll need to complete that between the hours of six and 5 PM. Okay. Here's another AT&T one. Again, I'm not interested in those AT&T ones because I'm not really in the market for any direct TV or a new phone. Um, here are a couple of more shell um, audits. These aren't very far from each other. Both of these pay $12.50 and they are the exact same um, requirements as the first one. Here's another shell. Um, also, they have these dealership um, mystery shops. Some of the requirements are different. So this one in particular says that this is unrevealed, so you will not be revealing yourself as a mystery shopper. You will go in as though you are a regular customer and you will um, follow the instructions that they give you. So most of these you'll probably go and you will act as though you are a person who is looking to purchase a vehicle. Um, and you'll go through that whole process and you will evaluate how the salesperson, how they treat you, um, et cetera, et cetera, okay? There are two of these, but it looks like they're actually at the same location. But this actually pays $50, okay, for that mystery shop. And here's another shell and another shell. Um, here's another AT&T. Well, two more, three more AT&Ts. There's a lot of AT&Ts. Here's another shell. A couple more AT&Ts. Um, they do have some bank mystery shops. I'll probably see those more so at the bottom. Here's a Valero Energy Corp audit. Um, and for this one, what it says is any day during daylight hours, uh, purchase a product in the store up to a dollar. So this is a ga another gas station. Um, so you could probably go in there and buy maybe a pack of um, gum or something. Um, and you will be required to take up to 11 photos, etc. It's kind of like the same as the shell audit and you will also have to reveal yourself as a mystery shopper for that one as well. Here's a couple of other shell locations. I'm gonna see if I can find one of these um, bank audits. I saw one of these on here. I'm gonna update my preferences 
so that I can find one of these bank audits. All right, so I updated my preferences. Now this is way out of my area. I actually put in an Atlanta zip code. And as you can see, if you live in Atlanta, this is like 589 mystery shops that are available to you, okay? If I were to put in maybe a New York zip code or a California zip code or a whatever zip code, I'm pretty sure more will be available. But if you live in Georgia, honey, you have 589 that are available to you. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to see a, um, a bank audit that's going to be available here. Um, for whatever reason, I didn't see any bank audits that were available um, with the zip code that I use. So I'm going to click on this. And again, I want to filter them by the list view and not the map view. So there is a lot of them. So it is loading. It's taking a little bit longer to load. So I'm going to go here and click on list view. All right. And here we go. Um, one of the second ones to pop up. SunTrust. You will be paid $125 to go in and open up a small business checking account. Now. I want you to keep in mind that you do not have to keep these bank accounts open, okay? Um, there are some people who do several of these in a day because they pay $125, some of them pay $150, some of them pay $175 a piece, okay? You can have 50, 11 bank accounts if you want to, and you do not have to keep these things open. So for this one, you have to have a business that is registered with the Secretary of State, okay? They will verify that. But you open a checking account with $100. You can go back within 48, 48 hours and close the account. Get your $100 out. And they will pay you $125. But you will need to evaluate um, the process. Again, how um, the bank teller or whoever um, treats you. How their customer service is. Et cetera, et cetera. And there are a ton of these bank um, these bank audits that are available. Um, it's not just the banking account. one, Like this one, for example. Uh, you will go in and you will apply for a credit card. So if you're interested in applying for a credit card, it does not matter if you have bad credit, okay? You do not have to be approved. So you can go and apply for a credit card and they can deny you and they will still still pay you your $65, okay? And just say, for instance, that they do approve you for the credit card, you can cancel it or you can simply um, just not activate the card. You don't have to activate it. But this is just an example. So if you have bad credit and you don't really care, I guess, you can go and apply for a credit card and they'll pay you $65. This is just an example. I know some people may not be interested in doing that. And I'm one of those people that probably wouldn't be interested in doing this one. But you have a lot of people who wouldn't mind, you know, going and applying for a credit card knowing they're not, a, not about to get approved. You know what I'm saying? Um, here is one for a savings account. And it says that you will evaluate the process of opening a personal savings account with $25 to $50. Once open, you are free to close the account after 48 hours, or you can keep the account. You may not have a current SunTrust savings account to conduct this shop. So if you are already a SunTrust um, customer, you cannot complete this shop. So you have to be a new customer of SunTrust. And they do have several others. They have some Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo they have tons, okay? Here's another one for the Jiffy Lube. Now, I would only do this one if I am in need of an oil change, period. Okay, if you're going to the Jiffy Lube anyway, go ahead and complete this mystery shop and get you $5. But if you're not in, you know, you're not in the uh, market for an oil change, this will probably be worth, not worth your time. So again, this is a service oil change shop for which you are required to purchase a specific five quart oil change using a coupon, okay? Using a coupon. Now they may give you a coupon for a free oil change or something. I'm not sure, but I'm not in the in the um in the market for a Jiffy Lube oil change, so that wouldn't be something that I would be interested in personally. Um and again, they have a ton of these things, y'all. I can I will be sitting here all day if I go through them all. Um they have more SunTrust, they have more Jiffy Lube. They have more AT&T, they have more um, Chevrons and Shells. It is just a lot to go through. And it's so many that my computer is starting to freeze, y'all. It is so many of them. But I will put everything in the blog post in the description box down below. You guys can go over and you can sign up. It is 100% free to sign up. Again, keep in mind, you will need to have a car, okay? You will also need to have um insurance on your vehicle 
and a photo ID. And they do require you to give your social security number. Okay. This is just like any other um, independent contractor gig. You will have to give up your information. So if you're not, you know, comfortable with giving up your social security number, don't waste your time going over here to apply. Okay. Just going to tell you that straight up. Um, don't go over here and go, don't go over here and apply if you're not, in, you're, if you're not comfortable with giving up your information, period. Okay. Um, so yeah, don't forget to sign up to the email newsletter and go over and join the work at home lounge. Good luck to those of you who signed up to this mystery shopping gig and I will see you in the next video. Bye.